Hi everyone, I'm Lori Whitlock and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can change the thickness of a font in Silhouette Studio. With this technique you can modify those thin beautiful fonts that you have in your library to make them suitable for cutting. The font I'm using in this tutorial is called Stylistics from a font bundle that I downloaded. I will put the link to the bundle in the description. First of all, you can see the graphic that I've completed is here, and I will make this available in my online shop for free at shop.lauriewhitlock.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this finished graphic off to the left, and we're going to make our own. So go ahead and select your text tool here on the left toolbar, and let's type in Mary, and return, and Christmas. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and double click that, and I'm going to choose my font, Stylistics. Okay, um, I'm gonna make it quite a bit bigger so that you can see it better. And I'm gonna go ahead and center it, and we're gonna move it, the line spacing closer so that we can make them kind of nest together nicely here. And as you can see, um, this font has some very thin areas. You probably wouldn't have great success cutting some of that with vinyl or heat transfer. So I'm going to um, go to my offset window. It's up here at the top and it's this hexagon shape on the far right. And we're gonna offset the path on that text. And obviously a quarter of an inch here is too far. So I was testing this earlier and 0.04 looks about right. And go ahead and click apply. And you can see how that has actually made the font a little thicker. So we can take our new copy and just move it away for a moment and we're gonna erase our original and then we'll move our copy back up and I'm liking how that's looking a lot better. There are a couple of little things that I would do as a designer to make this even better and that would be to remove these little pieces in the R section and I don't like how tight the E is here so I'm gonna show you how I would fix that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and um, release the compound path, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete out these little pieces here that I don't want. And then I'm gonna zoom in on that E, and we're gonna make that just a little wider. So I'm gonna double click it to activate those edit points, and I'm gonna grab those points, and I'm holding on the shift key to grab additional points, and I'm gonna go ahead and move that over quite a bit till it looks nice to me. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the center section here. Just double click and move those edit points over. I wanna open that E up and kind of shape it to look a little bit better. You can also use these little blue handles to change the shape of those curves. These are called Bezier curves. So I'm just gonna tweak those just a little bit. Most, a lot, some fonts might not require this, but if you have that problem, at least now you know how you could fix them. So I'm gonna take that Mary and I'm gonna go ahead um, and group that together, Command G and Christmas, and I'm gonna deselect Mary and group that together. And I'm gonna move Mary over just a little bit and make room for the tree that I created. And we'll go ahead and put that right here. And you can see how cute that's gonna be. Um, and if you wanna colorize it, you can just go up to your fill color and choose red. And if you'll notice, that actually took away all the middles of our shape. So we actually have to ungroup everything again and make our compound path. So object, make compound path. And that will put all your middles back into your letters. So hopefully you have enjoyed this tutorial and um, have fun using this technique with all those beautiful fonts you have in your library. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.